be executed in Pennsylvania. In the same period of time, we have also released six innocent men from death row. Clearly, we have a flawed system that cannot be relied upon when human lives are at stake. James Fry, the former uh, conservative, very conservative district attorney of Dallas County, Texas, said, for years I supported capital punishment, but I've come to believe that our criminal justice system is incapable, incapable of adequately distinguishing between innocent and guilty. It is reprehensible and immoral to gamble with life and death. Mr. Fry is not alone in questioning the death penalty from the perspective of law enforcement. A Peter Hart survey of police chiefs found that the death penalty is ineffective, according to the views of the police chief, at reducing violent crime, is too expensive, and detracts from more effective law enforcement tools. This is why an increasing number of police and DA associations are endorsing the abolition of the death penalty. By any reasonable measure, capital punishment is a failed government program. It costs too much, it provides little of anything in return, and fails to respect the culture of life that conservatives often speak about with great passion. That is why people across the political spectrum are demanding that we end a big government experiment that simply does not work. As the recently appointed co-chair of the Pennsylvania Cost-Cutting Commission, the Pennsylvania Sense Cost-Cutting Commission, I feel I have a special obligation to find ways to save money. While some proposals put forth will save a few dollars at the margins, eliminating the death penalty is one of the few areas where we can save real money, billions of dollars over time. That is why our neighbor, our immediate neighbor to the east, New Jersey, has recently eliminated capital punishment, as did New Mexico last year. I hope you will join me in making Pennsylvania the next step to take this fiscally responsible and morally appropriate step. And with that, I'd just like to introduce a, a, a couple of other speakers we have today. Uh, the first person I'd like to introduce is Ashley Shelton, Executive Director of Pennsylvanians for Alternatives to the Death Penalty, a coalition of groups across Pennsylvania working to end the death penalty.